Hey guys, it's Crystal. I wanna start off by saying thank you again for all your continued support through everything. This year has been really crazy, but we gotta stay strong and be positive through it. And in an effort to do that, I wanna show you guys all the tech that I use every day and bits and pieces of my daily routine. Obviously, with the way that everything is, I stay home a lot more. And I know that things are slowly opening up again, but I still try to stay home as much as I can. So here's what a typical day looks like. So this is how I start my day off, watching TV. But it's not what you think, it's for workout videos. And depending on what my day is looking like, if I have a little more time, I'll do at least two workout videos. I start off with a morning yoga, and I guess that's not really working out is just more to stretch and relax and get your day started right. I especially love the channel Yoga with Cassandra for yoga related videos. I feel like the type of yoga that she does is not super intense and is great for a beginner like me because let me tell you, I was not somebody that was super into yoga before all this like at home workout stuff that I've been doing, but I guess I am now. And I'm currently doing her 30 day yoga challenge. And if you haven't gotten into yoga yet, it is a perfect place to start. And after that, I'll do a more intense workout with Chloe Ting. And if you haven't heard the name Chloe Ting during this whole quarantine, I don't know where you've been, but her workouts will really kick your butt. And whether it's yoga or any type of workout, I've really been loving watching them on this bigger screen. I actually did a whole video on this setup, so if you guys wanna know more about it, I'll link it down below. But this TV and soundbar is the perfect combo. There is just one small tweak that I've added to this setup, and that is this phone sanitizer by Phone Soap. Obviously, with the way that everything is, this is super handy to have. Our phones carry a lot of germs and bacteria throughout the day. So this is a great way to keep it clean without actually using soap and water. I'm honestly not super sure how much it actually cleans it. It uses UV lights to kill bacteria. And if anything, it gives me extra peace of mind that it cleans it some way or the other. I'll usually throw my phone in there for five minutes if I happen to go out somewhere. It also comes in a bunch of different colors so you can match your setup. And it's a super handy thing to have right now. So after my workout, I'll usually make a shake for myself. But before I do that, I make sure I take all of my daily vitamins. And I'll be honest with you guys, prior to this year, I wasn't really the best at taking vitamins every single day, maybe B12 every once in a while. But with the way that everything is, we gotta make sure we're staying as healthy as we can. So I make sure I take these every day. I usually start with this Mono Lauren supplement by Laura Sidden. It comes in the form of little pellets, so definitely do not chew them. It will not taste good. And Mono Lauren in general is really great for your immune system, which of course is more important than ever right now. So I take a little over half a scoop of that with water, and then I take my multivitamin. I'm not the biggest fan of vitamins in pill form, so I'll take liquid ones as much as I can. This specific one is a Source of Life Gold Liquid Multivitamin. I take two spoonfuls of that. It's not the best tasting thing in the world, but it gets the job done. Next up, vitamin C. This specific one is liposomal vitamin C, so your body absorbs it better. The texture is a little weird, so I like to mix it with whatever juice I have, which makes it easier to take. After that, I got some more liquid vitamins in spray form. I start with a B12, which if you follow a vegan diet is pretty essential to take. It also gives you a good boost of energy throughout your day. I also got some more vitamin C. I actually got this prior to the liposomal vitamin C, but I still take it anyway because it kind of tastes good. And vitamin D3, which is good for your immune system and your bones. So my shake recipe is pretty simple. I put in some frozen strawberries, a fresh banana, some unsweetened macadamia milk, which is my favorite milk right now. If you haven't tried it, it's pretty amazing tasting. I also put in some sprouts, vegan vanilla protein. I've tried a lot of vegan proteins in my day and this one is <laughs> the best. And then I put some crunchy almond butter, gotta have the crunchy kind, not the creamy one. And then some more milk to make it blend easier, and that's it. Mm. 
keeping it real and clean. <laughs> this is not something that I use every single day, but it's something that I try to use semi-frequently to keep things tidy in here. And no, it's not sponsored, but I genuinely love this Dyson vacuum. I've had it for a little over a year now, and it works great. This is my Zen zone where I keep my keyboard. I got this right before everything got crazy with the intentions of relearning and learning more piano because I'm not very good and I only know one song, literally one song, some Miley Cyrus song. And this is very embarrassing, but I'm gonna play a little bit. <laughs> So bad, I play like a robot. That's all I got. <laughs> I'll learn more. I also have my record player over here. This is the U-Turn Audio Orbit Plus turntable with a built-in preamp. And yeah, obviously I know that we can just listen to music from literally any speaker or anywhere right now, but it's nice to have a little throwback and listen to like the ruffles of a vinyl player. I just, I like it there. And just to be more zen, I pair it with my Woodwick candle. You could hear the little crackles. Do you hear that? It's so soothing. So Animal Crossing on the Switch definitely has consumed a big chunk of my days in the past few months, ever since it came out. And I might have mentioned before how much I love Animal Crossing, but if you don't know, I think Animal Crossing is the best game ever invented and is literally the biggest reason why I even got into playing the Switch because I knew eventually it would have to come out on here. So yeah, I've been loving Animal Crossing a lot, but I haven't been playing a lot recently, maybe the past few weeks, because as of right now, you're not able to move your Animal Crossing data to another Switch. And I started playing on here with the intentions of eventually switching to my regular big size Switch Animal Crossing edition just to play on here. But I got too excited in the beginning and I started playing on my Switch Lite. I did have another Switch so I could have played on there. But either way, I would have run into the same problem where I can't move my current data to a new Switch. And I think that's so silly because so many games have the ability to do that. But I've heard that Nintendo is most likely releasing the ability to move your data from one Switch to the other with Animal Crossing specifically later this year. So right now I'm in a dilemma of do I keep playing on here or do I start over from the very beginning? And if you play Animal Crossing, you know that if you dedicated over 250 hours of playing to the game, that's just a lot to, to start over with. But I think what I'll probably do is start from scratch because I really wanna play on this bigger screen and also just be able to play on my TV. So I don't know, let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do. So I'm just gonna show you guys around a little bit with my accomplishments on here. I know it's not a lot, like people have definitely played more than me, but here's my house. Um, let's go inside. <laughs> Okay, here is my first room. It's like a kitchen, little living room area. And then I have my fridge. It's a closet where you can change your clothes. Let's change. This outfit is getting a little tiring. How about I'm a bear? Yeah, let's be a bear. <laughs> okay, let's go into here. Here is my bathroom. It's very zen, very peaceful. Look at all that. <laughs> this is my... Pretty in pink room, <laughs> very girly. I can sleep here. I can sit on my couch. Little train set, <laughs> my hamster wheel. Now let's go outside so I could show you the outside stuff too. <sighs> There's gonna be a lot of weeds, lots of weeds in my town because I have not played. There's a little picnic area. Here's my little shopping area. Little fountain. I have a little campfire area here. Oh, here's one of the little town members. Let's talk to her. Francine, I haven't really talked to this one. She's kind of new. Here's Raymond. 
Wow, they're all gonna talk about how they haven't seen me in so long because I haven't been playing. Uh, another little fountain area. I have my museum up here. Yeah, I know this is like kind of annoying. I kind of built these stairs without realizing that I was gonna match my stone here, but whatever. I'll show one more area. Whoops, can't go through there. Oh, these have blossomed. I haven't been here in so long. Oh my gosh, look at all these weeds. I did not mean to pick that up. I have a little outdoor diner here and a little ride. And the last place I'll show is this little heart um, pond that I made and this little cafe thing. Okay. So that's my switch. And I would say along with this, some other quarantine tech that I use every single day is my MacBook Pro and my iPad Pro. So here's my MacBook Pro 16 inch with this beautiful pink D brand skin, not sponsored. And you guys might recognize it from the setup that I did. I'll link that down below as well. But yeah, this has been my go-to. It's been super fast for editing, definitely faster than my previous 15 inch. The speakers are awesome. And yeah, I've been loving this thing. Next up is my 2020 iPad Pro. I recently just switched over to this one. And to be honest, it's really not all that different from the last gen. It is slightly faster, but like literally just a little bit faster. There's better cameras, there's LiDAR. And if you guys wanna see a full review, let me know in the comments. But if you do own a 2018 iPad Pro, I really don't think it's super worth the upgrade. What I've been doing a lot recently just to relieve some stress is drawing on here. And you can tell how recently I started using this because I really only have one drawing. I definitely have a lot more on my older one in the past two months, but it's just been a great way when things get a little overwhelming to ease my mind a bit and just let the stress out through my drawings. And of course, I think it's super important that we keep that conversation going. So this video will be a fundraiser towards Black Lives Matter. And I just wanna be very clear, this is not a momentary movement. This is a step towards a change that's been needed. So if you can donate, great. If not, let's keep talking. Let's keep making a difference. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.